Thank you. Thanks very much. So, hola, that's all I know to speak to your hearts. Uh, I actually know more, but it just doesn't come out. Um, I, have, I, I actually don't know what I'm going to talk to you about, so allow me to uh, just speak from the heart. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm fascinated by intelligence. I mean, you, you listen to uh, um, uh, the speakers before me and how they can sum up such a complex set of topics and put them all together and navigate through them and build a thread and say, this is what you need to do. It's incredible, really. If you think about human intelligence and the way we solve problems, the way we interact, the way we connect, it's just fascinating. And we have really done well as humanity. We have done so well. Just if you think about the last 100 years, actually, if you think about my career, 30 years, um, you know, there were times in my career where I never could even imagine what I think 10 years later. And I think we take some of this for granted. When we think about our, uh, uh, the, the way we live today, just look at, the, at, at this room around you. Huh? The lights, the sounds, the wireless networks, the phones, the cameras, the, you know, the Twitters, uh, you know, it's incredible. And, and we take all of it for granted. It is genius by every measure you can think of. I worked at Google X. I, I, I started at Google, I, I spent 12 years at Google, of which seven years I expanded Google globally. And then uh, at Google X, I spent the last five years as chief business officer with a very simple uh, um, uh, job, really, which was to try and streamline this incredible innovation so that it can meet the real world. Now, why was that needed? Because we had no, almost no obstacles to innovate. It really is quite shocking when I tell you that almost everything you have ever seen in a science fiction movie happened or is about to happen. Okay, uh, you know, if you if you recall Star Trek with the flip phone or the you know the tablet or whatever, this is old technology now. Huh? If you recall Minority Report when Tom Cruise was so handsomely waving at the you know at the computer and then that became part of your Xbox, huh? self-driving cars, uh, robots that actually walk and perform and interact. It's all happened. Hmm? which needs to get you to the point where you start to tell yourself, um, is there going to be an industry called science fiction anymore? I mean, seriously, what can we imagine? Huh? And with virtual reality, by the way, everything you can imagine, you're going to build into technology. It's just happening. Hmm? And I think what is really fascinating hmm, is that things since I started as a young engineer, have been ticking faster and faster and faster and faster. And we're also getting used to the pace. So we actually don't recognize how fast it's become. Hmm? Uh, it's, it is so fast that, you know, what, we, what would have taken us, uh, you know, seven years to build in the past, the typical automotive uh, cycle, would actually be done in around three and a half weeks today if you want, if you use the simulation and technology, uh, you know, basically you can change everything. Like when you, you can design a whole new car from scratch, okay? Uh, there are still economic limitations, but you can do anything you want, anything that you want. As I told you, at X, we had to say, look, there is so much we can invent. Let's just try to streamline those things so that we invent the stuff that makes a difference. So, we've invented incredible things, incredible things, and it's not working. Have you realized that at all? Did you ever stop and pause and tell yourself, is this the life I actually want? Okay? Because honestly, it isn't for me. Hmm? Uh, we are destroying our planet. If I just tell you the statistics, it's staggering what we're doing. We're losing 120 species a day from the biodiversity of the planet. We're flooding the oceans with plastic. We're burning fuel at rates that are changing our climate. It's, you can feel it, 42 degrees outside, okay? It, it, we're, we're, and we, by the way, we're rushing like mad ticking at the speed of the processors we 
invented responding to email day and night, messages day and night, watching TV with horrible news all the time, even though there are good things in the world. We are one of every four people in the, mo in the Western world is clinically depressed. Suicide rate is at an all-time high. Healthcare is breaking, education is breaking. It's messed up. It truly is, which, is, which gets you to wonder why. We're, we're so intelligent. We're creating incredible things. We can do anything we want. Why is it messing up? Because we're creating the wrong things. And I would want to ask you, honestly, who here wants a fancier iPhone? And a company as innovative as Apple, why don't they build an iPhone that is better for us? Not just fancier, not just a bit, bit better screen, not just a, 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 you know, an ego item that I put on the table, a nation as innovative as Korea. Why are they investing so much in LED screens? Like seriously, 75 inches enough. Like why? why? I just don't get it. I honestly don't get it. We, with all of our intelligence, have missed the point. Okay? And unfortunately, I'm actually not as optimistic about AI as others who stand on stage and talk about it. I'm optimistic if we do our work, but I'll tell you if we don't, hmm, the way AI learns is it learns by observing billions of patterns of information that is provided to it by, we are the parents. They are artificially intelligent infants, and we are horrible parents. Violence, uh, rudeness, anger, hmm? The problem is not Donald Trump. When Donald Trump tweets, I'm sure he has just tweeted, okay? <laughs> when he tweets, it's, he's not the problem. It's the 30,000 hate speech that come and below that that are the problem. This is what the machine is gonna learn from. You know what's going to happen with AI? Like every other technology we've created, it's gonna maximize our abilities. I can walk at five kilometers an hour, I can take a car and drive at 300. I can take a plane and drive at 1,000, okay? Technology just maximizes our human abilities. And what AI will do, in my personal view, it, is, is it, it, it will maximize our greed, it will maximize our uh, uh, um, uh, you know, narcissism, it will maximize our ego-driven behavior, it will maximize our rudeness, it will maximize any, everything. And, uh, you know, Rana said it best. Hmm? We can catch 85% of the mistakes in 90 minutes. It's not like we're running out of time. I honestly don't understand. Why do I need a machine to do it in 22 seconds? In whose favor is that? Okay? Now, I'll tell you openly, I, re I, uh, I lobbied against uh, the current revolution of AI heavily, not in, the fa not in the idea of not wanting AI to go where it's going, but I wanted to use a different algorithm. Okay? The current algorithm we, we, we build technology on is an algorithm of reward and punishment. We basically are building little psychopaths. Okay? We're, we're telling them, you do this, you get more points, you do that, you get bad points, and we think that there will be a point in time where we're actually gonna tell them, hey, by the way, bad boy, don't do this. Okay? In, in the year 2049, the machines will be a billion times smarter than we are. Okay? That's comparable to the, com the intelligence of a fly as compared to Einstein. Okay? Let's just get the facts in place. Now, am I predicting a doomsday scenario, iRobot, where the, where the machines are gonna take us over? Honestly, possible, unless we change, because we are the parents, and I will tell you the truth. The truth is intelligence is not enough, okay? If we were to become smarter and smarter and smarter and smarter, solving the wrong problems, we're gonna cause more problems, okay? If we set the, other, the wrong targets, we're gonna destroy the planet more. Hmm? The, the, the mix of what creates impact hmm, is an, a mix of intelligence and values. You bring the two together, and the values tell us what it is that we should create with our intelligence so that we create the right 
things. And believe it or not, we've all missed the point. Okay? So I will tell you that in our world today, because of our success, we missed three values. And, and as a very, very, uh, you know, at heart, I'm an engineer, so when you give me a very complex problem that is so multifaceted, you know, economies and depression and, you know, global warming and all of that, I try to look for the underlying reasons, and the underlying reasons are three. There are three values we forgot as humanity. One is happiness, the second is compassion, and the third is the feminine. Okay? And trust me if I tell you, if we manage to fix those three, the whole world will turn. And it will turn in no time at all. Okay? Now let me explain those very quickly. Huh? We've told our children and ourselves growing up that success is more important than happiness. Okay? We told them that it was okay to be unhappy because it's the tax you pay for your, ta for your success. We believed it. Hmm? The truth is, our default setting for success is happy. When we're not happy, what happens is our performance declines. We're unable to do the right things. We're unable to engage. We piss our clients off. We, we piss our you know, colleagues off. It just doesn't work. Hmm? And somehow, we shy away from saying that because they told us you shouldn't show your weakness. Now, I will tell you honestly, if you don't prioritize your happiness, good luck. No one's going to prioritize it for you, okay? Because they just want you to make another shoe. It's the Industrial Revolution. This is the shoe factory. You need to make another shoe, okay? Who's the only one that's going to prioritize your own happiness? It's you. The second, and I say that with love and respect, I am Eastern. Uh, you know, I was born in the East, raised, you know, with Western uh, mindset or mentality, if you want. Hmm? The West is too individualistic. It's too individualistic. We suddenly, now that we pushed the tigers out of our towns and villages, we decided it's okay for me to focus on me now. Before that, everyone knew that unless the tribe was strong, hmm, the tigers will eat us one by one. Right? We wanted to succeed together, and the Eastern mentality, the Eastern value system, is that we succeed together. Compassion. It's not only that I want to be happy, I want you to be happy. Because if you are happy, you change your behavior, we build the right future. I cannot survive if I'm the happiest person on earth in 20 years from now, if, the, if, we, if we continue on our trends of global warming, good luck. Good luck. We have to change and believe it. Huh? So I set out a couple of years ago on a mission that's called One Billion Happy. And One Billion Happy had two targets to it, happiness and compassion. I wanted people to prioritize their happiness, to find balance in their life hmm? by saying, I want to be successful. I absolutely want to be successful, but I want to be happy too. And I want those that I love to be, to be happy as well, those that I interact with, with to be happy as well as well. And so I did a lot of research, and my mission has been going reasonably well so far. We think we're at 47 million happy, which is not a million, a billion, but it's a good number, okay? But then it hit me, and it hit me so hard that the biggest reason for the problems we have in our world today is we demonized the feminine and prioritized the masculine. The Industrial Revolution created an interesting trend of think linearly, plan, execute, and push, 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 sometimes compete. These are all masculine qualities. Okay? And I say that with respect because Spain is doing amazing at empowering women, but we're empowering women, we're not empowering the feminine. That's very, very different. Because a woman goes to the workplace today, she has to behave like a man sometimes, like the masculine. I don't want to use woman and man. Hmm? We have to, we're under hmm, estimating the value that the feminine brings. You know how it is. Hmm? There is a left brain and a right brain, the masculine brain and the, and, and the, and the uh, feminine brain. Wh which of you has only one of them? Every single one of us. I have both. I can guarantee you that. Hmm? As a matter of fact, I'm 0.58 feminine. I'm more feminine than masculine. Okay? Of course, Middle Eastern and a manly man don't ever touch my you know, gender, but hey, truly and honestly, every leader that has ever changed our world 
believe it or not, was more feminine than masculine. Every manager that has ever succeeded, every politician that, forced, that waged a war was more masculine than feminine, but Gandhi was more a woman than a man. Do you understand this? He had the body parts hmm, that were masculine, but he had empathy, he had intuition, he had communication skills, he had resilience, he had feminine qualities that were missing in our modern world. Now, why am I telling you all of this? You're learning and development directors, okay? You can change the world. You truly can. Hmm? You truly can by sneaking around your bosses, if you have to, okay? And trying to teach the right things. And you know what the right thing is? Teach us to be human. We forgot. We forgot to be human. Hmm? We became machines like the machines were creating. So we spoke about purpose. You know what the purpose of a human is? Hmm? So in reality, you'll be amazed that that future orientation of I'm going to set a task in the future and chase that, that's actually not human at all. Because the only access you will have to time is now. Your purpose is right here and right now. And your purpose is very straightforward. Okay? You need to become the absolute best human you can become. Okay? If you were, you know how when you get on aeroplanes, they say, attend to yourself first before you help others? Okay? I dare you teach anyone to be human if you're not human. I ask you to do three things. Prioritize your happiness so that it is at least as equal in importance as your success. Have the compassion in you to want others to find it too. Okay? and empower your feminine, man or woman. Make our world more feminine or it will end. This is the truth. Thank you.